Hi, I'm Paul from DRD Magazine. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not really the flashiest dirt bike rider in the world. And to be honest, I get a bit fed up with all the other guys clearing off when we go trail riding. But I've found a secret weapon, and it is this, the new Honda TRX 700 Sports Quad. We're gonna go and take it in the bush and have some fun. Wow, that was absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've ever, ever ridden through the bush as fast as that. This TRX 700 really is superb and Honda really have hit the nail on the head. Honda have put a lot of thought into this TRX 700, basically because it's a segment that they haven't been in before. So they looked at the competition, worked out what their bike needed and basically put it all, all on. It is absolutely devastating as a trail riding machine. And as I say, if you're fed up falling off your two-wheeler or not being able to keep up with your mates, get yourself one of these. It's absolutely brilliant. They've done it a bit of a different way. They've put independent rear suspension on the back rather than the, the, uh, the solid rear axles that the other quads have. Guys might say it probably doesn't give you as much steering control and what have you, being able to slide the bike and what have you. But it, what it does do is give you a lot of ground clearance and also a lot more stability. The idea with the independent rear suspension is that the wheels can go up independently of one another. So if you hit a rock or something like that, that wheel just goes up, keeps the other one on the ground, keeps the bike nice and stable. It is high, it probably leans a little bit more than, than the others do, but I would give that up for anything to be quite honest because you want the ground clearance, you want to be able to go over rocks, you want to be able to go over stumps and that sort of stuff when you're doing your local trail rides, when you're down at Desert Storm, that sort of thing. And this machine can do a whole lot. They've done another great thing. They've put reverse on it. Hooray! The sports quad with a reverse on it. So when you overcook that corner or you get yourself stuck or even reversing off the trailer, click it into first, pull the little lever, click it down again, and back as you go. It's powered by a 68cc single overhead cam fuel injected motor. It provides huge amounts of power, huge amounts of torque. So even though it's got a great five speed gearbox, it doesn't really matter, you don't really have to bother it. It's got so much torque that really your biggest problem is keeping the front wheels on the deck. What it does mean is that when you do get those obstacles, when you do see a wrap, when you do see something, jab at the throttle, over you go, you just get over it without even thinking about it. So you've got heaps of power, but can get you into a bit of trouble maybe. So what you need is good brakes. This has got great brakes. It's got twin discs at the front, it's got a single disc at the back. Back brilliant, you can use it for locking up, for sliding. You've got all the stopping power in the world on the front brakes. They've also been real clever at the back as well. They've put the chain in the center. So it provides the same amount of torque going to each wheel. So you've got no problems there. But it's also really covered up by the frame and that sort of stuff. So you shouldn't really get yourself any, in any trouble if you do hit any rocks or anything. It looks the part too. Um, they've thought long and hard about the styling. It's got a great headlight. It doesn't cover your mud too much. The, the actual mud guards work. It's got a great comfy seat which has been sculpted in the middle so you can move around. And the handlebars, they're nice and high so you're not fighting it. The tyres work great so you're not sort of fighting the handlebars like you would ordinarily, ordinarily on a sports quad. For me, it is a brilliant package for the ordinary guy that wants to go out and have fun, doesn't want to go racing, wants to mess around in the paddock, wants to go on a trail ride wants to chase his mates and beat them. It's 12995, which is about the same money as the other, like even the 450 sports squads out there. You're getting a lot more CC, you're getting a lot more power, you're getting a lot more usability. I think it's a brilliant package. I'm gonna be on the phone to Mr. Honda because I want one of these sitting in my garage. It's that great.